You want to explain to me what time it is? Yeah? That was a lot of words out of you. Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, body Somebody's got to put water in the water dish. Actually, it's time to wash the water dish. Every week I wash my water fountains. Every two weeks I replace the filters. Wanted to show you guys real quick though. You know, beside, before I got distracted by, hi, you're adorable. Before I got distracted by the water fountains, or the water, whatever that's called, the dog bowls. It is raining, like a lot. We needed this so bad. I know I talked about it a little bit in the video the other day. See the dead grass of the neighbors. It's June, normally grass is not that dead this time of the year. jamie has been watering his, so his is a little bit better. Oh, also little chip monkey squirrel friends were back this morning, but I missed catching them on camera. But yeah, it's raining today, raining, which means we can't really go outside and play much. And I don't really know what's happening today, but I guess uh, time will tell. Well, I guess I'm gonna head up to the Besser Museum. My mom just called me and said they're taking the kids up there because they're babysitting today and because it's raining, they can't play outside either. So they're gonna take them to the museum. So I'm gonna take you guys along and take you to Besser Museum. So we came to the Besser Museum. You wanna say hi? All right, and where are we? Are we at the Avenue of Shops? No. Yeah, that's where we are. We're at the Besser Museum. Kendrick's China Shop. Did you see all this cool? This is the barber shop and this is a doctor shop. A barber shop and a doctor shop? What's this one? Yeah, a barber shop and a doctor shop, huh? I don't need to pick you up. I think you can walk on your own. Yeah, you can. You. What? What are people. you scared of? Here, what if I hold your hand? No, 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 no. No, Come just here. pick. No. Come on. Pick me up. You Watch can out. do this on your own. Uh, here, come on. Let's go this way. I'm squeaky floor floors. Goes. What's in here, Charlotte? That's a piano. Look at that's a camera. Yeah, that's a camera. Doesn't look like our cameras today, does it? Yeah. This is a piano. A piano. Down there right? The I told so John Matthew said it's a barber yeah, shop and a doctor those. shop. I told you where we yeah. What's this, John Matthew? You want to tell me what this is? But these are, this is a horse. It's a, it's, it's a blacksmith shop. Blacksmith shop. Yeah, he makes all the metal. See, there's a fire in there. And of course, we're out here digging for fossils because we can't go anywhere without looking for rocks. Did you find a rock? Did you find any fossils? We need the light. No. Right? Yeah, we need the light to see if uh, any of these glow. <laughs> We're out behind the Bester Museum now. So they have this little outside area and you can come and you can dig for fossils. And then they have events where they like open up these buildings, which is pretty cool. Show me your flower. That's pretty, huh? Yeah. That's the bank. That's where they keep all the money. What's going on? Is somebody here? See you guys. Greg is here. My car's parked outside because the garage is full of stuff. Greg's here. He's downstairs making some review videos with Jamie, which some of you guys have found our review channel on YouTube. It's also on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all the places. Some of you guys have found it. Just got back from the museum. It was super fun. The kids had so much fun. Do you want me to open that window for you, Memphis? Hold on. I got the wrong part of the window open. Let's, uh, let's fix this. Okay. Uh, there you go. Did you see that tail go? She's like, oh man. Is it like winter out there? So I know you told you guys that it's raining. Of course it is still raining. It's actually like 55 degrees outside today in June, which I'm, I'll take it. I don't mind it at all. Does it smell so good? I said, man, this air smells amazing. I love it. it. Smells like rain. We're just thankful to finally have some rain. Is it? Is it that time? Is it that time already? You guys were wet because you were just outside. Can you explain to me what time it is? Oh, here comes pupper number three. You want to explain to me what time it is? Yeah? That was a lot of words out of you. Are you going to bark for us? No, you can't have the pan on the stove. You want what's in here? What's in there? What's in here? I don't know why I use the oven to keep your food in it while it's soaking, but I do. And it's kind of funny because then you do this. And this is the only time you're not scared of this thing. What's in here? What is it? Inside of my purple stove. 
So many of you guys comment whenever I do videos that the inside of my stove is purple. It is. It's purple. <gasps> is your food in there? Get your head out of there. Don't worry, guys. It's not on. It's not on. All right, I'm going to feed you girls some lunch. Look at that tail go. She's like, yeah? You want it? Yeah? Are you mad because I won't give it to you? Yeah? Really? You guys don't see that. Stompies and everything. You guys don't see Memphis have fits often. It's because I rarely ever catch it on camera. But when it comes to food... <laughs> what is that? You hungry? Really? Really? Yeah? Yeah? Stomp them feet. Ready? It's in there. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Get your head out of there. Get your head out of there. I'm gonna get it. Is everything right in your world now? She's like, everything is right in my world now. I have my food. <laughs> Memphis has two favorite things in the world. Food and people. I don't know other girls are eating. And yes, I still soak their food. I actually will continue doing that from now on. Because they eat dry food. Sometimes with a little bit of wet food mixed in. Sometimes we rotate foods. I mean, you guys know, I feed my dogs a lot of different stuff. They get a good variety because eating the same thing every day is just boring. These are probably two of my favorite canned foods that I feed the dogs. I like the little cans because I can just split this into three when I give it to them. Rabbit was Shelby's favorite. So we rotate rabbit, duck. I do give them beef ones and a couple other different ones from time to time as well. It's good to switch up proteins. I learned a long time ago that, you know, a lot of dogs nowadays can get food allergies and sometimes it has to do with feeding them the same thing over and over and over. At least that's what I've read. So I like to switch up their food. And no, they don't have issues when I do it. And it's probably because I've done it their entire lives. So my dogs don't really have very sensitive stomachs, which is nice. They can pretty much eat anything whenever they want to. And I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this stuff before. I plan on doing another, <laughs> one of these days, morning routine and lunch routine for the dogs. But um, we do the plaque off. This is their probiotics that they get. This is their solid gold sea meal that they get. Memphis still gets the Myos Muscle and Joint Formula and she does get Quosequin. I will actually put an Amazon affiliate link to all of these things and some of the other foods and stuff that I feed the dogs down in the video description below. Oh, I almost forgot. And I have to order more of this as well. The Ultra Oil. Why are your dog's coats so nice and soft? They get this every single day. Every single day. They get it on their food. The only time I don't give it to them is when we're camping because I don't like taking this camping just in case it spills. So usually when we go camping, if it's only for a few days, I don't bring that with me. But I do bring all the rest of their supplements every time we go. Oh, and in case you were wondering, no, I still haven't taken the spring stuff down from up here. But um, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll get to that today. It's on the list. Everything is on the list, you guys. I tell you, everything is on the list. Is he out there, Kira? Is he out there? You keep making that motion like he's out there. And I keep looking, but I don't see him. I saw him early this morning, but I don't see him now. I did see the bunnies. I saw the bunnies earlier, but I didn't catch him on camera. He's like, he's out here. I'm just watching for him. All right, you keep watching for him. What are you watching for? So it's like, hey, Dad. <laughs> Hey, that like, was not an invitation to Hey, Dad, food. you got some food on this table? I do, but you kind of have none. Greg just left and went home, and Jamie mm -hmm. and I are making some sandwiches. Right. We're, making, we're stuck on a deli rut, aren't we? Uh, we are. We're, yeah. in, we're in that groove. Yeah, so... You know, one thing leads to another. So this coleslaw you can get at Gordon Foods. Mm -hmm. We used to serve this at the deli. It's called Rye Rye coleslaw. Right. And we're making what's called a Georgia Reuben. Normally we use marble rye bread. Alexa... Stop. Um, but they only had the pumpernickel rye, which is fine. I really like this, so I was okay. So it's that coleslaw, turkey, Swiss cheese, and what am I forgetting? Red dressing and red dressing, if you guys want to make them. That's what it is. And then you put butter or mayonnaise on your bread. Mayonnaise makes it crispier. And you grill them. That's what we're making. We used to make them at the deli. Apparently we missed the deli because we keep making all this deli food. They're going to cut one in half so you guys can see how amazing it looks in the middle. Mm-hmm. Such a good sandwich. It's mm -hmm. out of focus. It's so messy. 
But it's totally I was going to say, it's literally dripping mm-hmm. all over your plate. But it is. It's a very good sandwich. Mm-hmm. So mm. if you guys want to make it, that's how you make it. And if you don't, if you can't get the grandma's original recipe coleslaw, there's some coleslaw in this container. <laughs> um, it's like a sweet coleslaw. So you want a coleslaw that's a sugar base, sugar based coleslaw, not sugar base. Right. Not a vinegar based coleslaw. That's what I was trying to say. Mm-hmm. Hello. That's delicious. Welcome to the dinner table. So we're going to take the dogs for a walk. And if you want to know how cold it is outside, it's windy too. That's your winter coat. It is. Yeah. Your windy coat. <laughs> Maybe it is a little much, we'll see. It might be, but maybe not. Let's see. It is pretty cold and windy out. But it quit raining, so we're taking the dogs for a walk. Wow, we make it out the front door and there's the bunny. There he goes. That's bunny number one. (laughs) Yeah, we know. There was a bunny. We saw the bunny. I don't know where the bunny went. There went another bunny. He's down in the ditch up there. Is he? He's thinking about it. Should we walk into them tall bushes? Shh. Shh. There might be a hole right here too where he's at. Nope, there he is. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. He's over there, did you see that bunny? So Jamie and I were trying to figure out why we're seeing so much more wildlife. And I don't know if you guys remember from quite, there he goes that way. I don't know if you guys remember from quite a few years ago, but we used to have a colony of feral cats that a woman was feeding and uh, she passed away and all the feral cats ended up getting trapped and moved away from here. So I think that's why we're seeing so much more wildlife. Eleanor. Yeah. We don't have as many stray cats. No, we don't have as many feral cats. Right. So I think the cats are not killing the bunnies and the, and the chipmunks and the squirrel friends. Is he over there? Is there another one over there? <laughs> so many bunnies. All the bunnies. And the loud dog. Gotta get your sips of water and then straight back to the window to look for more bunnies. Both of you. You just went out there to look for the bunnies. They're like, yeah, but we know where they live. Yes, we do know where they all live now. And there is a heck ton of bunnies out there. That really is your favorite bed, isn't it? So it's like, yep. If I'm in here, it's this bed. If I'm in the office, it's the one in the office. But this is my favorite bed. You do like them squishy beds. What's up with you? Did you just wake up? You look like you're overheated. You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside so we can go to bed? Come on, let's go. Everybody up. Everybody up. You two, let's go. I feel like we haven't done the three, two, one in a while. Ready? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go! Eh, it wasn't super fast. Holy cow, it's cold out here. They said it was going to get down to 45 tonight. Eh, not too bad, though. And with that, we're going to bed. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I didn't say it yet. Stay positive. Dream big. And we'll see you again soon. Go to bed. Go on, go to bed. Go to bed. You too. Go to bed. Kira's like, I already made it to bed. Three peekers? Three little peekers. Good night, audience.